Thanks everyone for joining me today uh, for another Tech Talk. We're going to be chatting. Uh, we've got a question from a fellow boater named Lawrence. Lauren asks, Jeff, what is a remote battery switch and what is it used for? Mm, good question, Lawrence. Good on you for being curious. A remote battery switch is really solving the conundrum that, or the problem, and this is a real problem, is that battery switches are meant to be used, right? They're meant to be used. They're not something that should be left on a boat and never turned on or off. Otherwise, what's the point? And they have to be in a location that, as a boater, you can use them. Now, the flip side to that, and that's good. That's what we want. As a boat owner and as a boater, you want to be able to uh, disconnect your batteries from any load. And you want to do that in a convenient location without having to go down the engine room, open a hatch. Because when you do need to disconnect a battery, you need to generally do it right away. Not always. But the times you really need to, in the event of an emergency, like an electrical fire, you need to turn that off right away. So battery switches are located, for most of us, in a convenient location as an operator, where we can actually turn the battery switch on or off without having to go down in the engine room uh, or go in a place that's not all that practical. But what's the catch? The catch is bringing and giving us boaters a convenient convenient location for a battery switch means that in many cases, the battery, the wiring between the engine battery or a battery and the loads takes a detour, right? In a lot of cases, the battery switch is not on a direct path between the battery and the loads. It's extending the circuit. It might be making it a lot longer significantly longer. And that causes voltage drop. And voltage drop is a real issue. It's a real problem, especially on some circuits where you've got high loads and you're going to have the batteries go to basically a low voltage because you're using a lot of current. Or it could be you're using your batteries you know, pretty deep. And at the end, you just don't want to have excessive voltage drop. You want to have as much energy as possible directly to your loads. So to Lawrence's question, why a remote battery switch? Well, the remote battery switch is really solving a pretty neat problem. And that is to have the battery switch be mounted in a direct path between the battery and the loads, but having the control of that remote battery switch happen at any location on the boat. And we're seeing more and more boats utilize this feature where remote battery switches are located near the batteries or at anywhere between the batteries and the loads. And the remote battery switch is located at the helm, located at the electrical panel. And then that way, the current doesn't actually go to the panel or the AC distribution or your helm, only the control wires do. And so the big advantage with that is you reduce the unnecessary voltage drop. And that's why boaters are installing remote battery switches. And builders are doing it too. It's a really handy tool. Uh, 30, 40 years ago, that wasn't an option. And some of them can take pretty high current draw, like 500 amps, 300 amps. So it's a useful tool to minimize wiring costs on board your boat and also to minimize voltage drop. So great question, Lawrence, and thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for being curious and geeking out with me about all things boating electrical. Thanks. So if you're curious again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.